Okay, these are our selected homework from 4.1 Part B. Uh, so number five, we're trying to find a general solution for our differential equation. So dy dt equals 3t squared. We first start off by um, rearranging. So we want the y's on the left, um, uh, the, the t squared, the dt on the right, and we also want to uh, keep the uh, coefficient on the right side. Okay, eventually we're going to solve for y. Uh, integral of dy is simply y. Integral of 3t squared is simply 3t cubed over 3 using power rule plus c. So we have our general equation. We can check our solution by finding the derivative of t cubed, see if it brings us back to our, um, it, our, our starting point. So 3, uh, t cubed becomes 3t squared, which um, is our starting uh, differential equation. Okay, number seven. Uh, go ahead and uh, split our, um, separate the variables, d, uh, y, um, ver uh, y and dy on the left, uh, x and dx on the right. Okay, take the integral of both sides, we apply power rule on the right side, and integral of dy will always just give us y. Okay. We have our general equation, 2 fifths x to the 5 halves plus c. We can check our solution, and we're going to uh, we can find the derivative using power rule, and that will bring us back to our starting um, differential e equation. Okay, let's apply the integral rules, 35 and 37. So the integral for sine is negative cosine. The integral for cosine is positive sine. So that's what we're going to get here. Okay. And once we have our general different uh, our general solution, we can check using derivative to see if this will bring us back to our original um, starting points. So uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of sine is positive cosine. So that will bring us back to our starting point: two sine x plus three cosine x. All right, thirty-seven. One minus cosecant cotangent t dt. We can split this up into two separate um, parts, two separate problems. Integral of 1 has a specific rule. This will go to t. Uh, we do have a rule for cosecant cotangent, which is a negative cosecant, ta uh, cosecant t. Uh, but these two negatives will cancel out, give us a positive cosecant t. Okay, we can check using derivatives, see if this will uh, bring this back to our original um, uh, pro, uh, integrand. So the root of t is 1, the root of cosecant t is negative cosecant cotangent, which brings us back to our starting uh, problem. 41, right, if you look at the six rules provided, uh, or the six uh, integral rules that we went over, we don't have a rule for tangent squared y, okay, but, we, but uh, we can use this to rewrite our uh, and uh, um, use trig identity to rewrite our problem. So 1 plus tangent squared y we know is secant squared y. So we can rewrite this as secant squared y and we look at our trig rules. We do have a trig rule for secant squared which is simply tangent of y plus c. And so that's our answer. If we want to, uh, we can double check uh, using derivative rules. So derivative of tangent is secant squared y which is um, equal to 1 plus tangent squared y which is our starting point. Okay. Right, let's uh, finish on the back page uh, of the rest of the uh, selected problems. I have 48. Find the equation for y given our derivative function is 2 times x minus 1. And if I want to find the equation for y, uh, separate the variables. y is on the left, x is on the right. Take the integral of both sides. y becomes um, left is y. The right, we go through power rule, 2x squared over 2 minus 2x plus c. And we have our general equation, y equals x squared minus 2x plus c. We are now going to use our ordered pair, plug in to solve for c. So 2 goes in for y, 3 goes in for x, and we solve for c, get c equals negative 1. And now we can write our specific uh, equation for y, x squared minus 2x minus 1. Okay, 55. Solve our differential equation, we have f prime. So if we have f prime, we start off with the um, 4x, separate the variables, 
and we get y is equal to 4x squared over 2 plus c. So we have our um, general equation, plug 0 in for x, zero, uh, 6 in for y, and we can solve for c, c is equal to 6, so y is equal to 2x squared plus 6. 59, We're, we start off with the second derivative, but we do have ordered pairs from f prime and from f of x. So we want to um, uh, find a specific solution for f of x, so we have to go through our integral process twice since we're starting with f double prime. So to find f prime, we can simply find the integral of, t of um, 2 dx, and that will simply give us 2x plus c. Okay, we have our derivative function. We have order pair for f prime, plug in 2 in for x, plug in 5 in for f prime. So we're going to get 5 is equal to 2 times 2 plus c, c is equal to 1, simply 5 minus 4. So we have our specific f prime function. So from here we find the integral again to get us back up to f of x. So 2x becomes 2x squared over 2, 1 becomes x, and we said that if we find the integral twice, our second constant of um, integration will be a k. Kay. And we have x squared plus x plus k. We have an ordered pair from our original function, plug 2 in for x, plug 10 in for f of x. So we can solve for k. k is, uh, uh, sorry, 10 is equal to 6 plus k. k is equal to 10 minus 6, which is 4. So we have our specific solution being x squared plus x plus 4. Okay, finally, 61. All right, we're given f double prime again. Um, again, we have ordered pairs from f prime and f of x that we can use to plug in to solve for c and k later. Okay, take the uh, indefinite integral. We go through power rule. Um, we get x to the negative 1 half over negative 1 half, reduce it to be negative 2x to the negative 1 half plus c. We have an ordered pair for f prime, plug 2 in for f prime of x, plug 4 in for x, negative 2 times um, 1 over square root of 4, which is simply negative 2 over 2, which gives us 2 is equal to negative 1 plus c, so 3 is equal to c. We have our c value, and then we have a specific uh, f prime function. Okay. Now we need to find the integral once again to get up to f of x. So f of x is the uh, indefinite integral of negative 2, x to the negative 1 half plus 3. Okay. I'm leaving this exponent as a negative 1 half because I know um, I'm about to use power rule again, so I want this to be in place um, uh, for that. I go through power rule, x to the negative 1 half becomes x to the 1 half, divide by that new exponent, 3 becomes 3x, and then we need to um, add a plus k. Okay. Our order pair is 0, 0, plug 0 in for y, plug 0 in for x, we get 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus k, k is 0, so our original function will simply be negative 4x to 1 half plus 3x plus 0, which is k, and we can leave the 0 out. Okay. 